New Jersey Democratic Senator Robert Menendez, who presided over the hearings for Secretary of State nominee John Kerry, and should Kerry be confirmed, is set to become chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Welcome, thank Senator you, Menendez. Thank you, thank you for joining us. What's your reaction to what John McCain just said? I mean, obviously, you've been working together on this, so you know some of how he feels about this. Um, with in terms of immigration. In immigration. Well, I don't look, think you've been working together on some of that other <laughs> stuff so much. Well, uh, I, I think John said it well. Uh, w I am cautiously optimistic, and as someone who has spent years between the House and the Senate uh, trying to get comprehensive immigration reform, I'm cautiously optimistic. I see the right spirit. Uh, I see things that were once off the table for uh, agreement and discussion being on the table with a serious uh, pathway forward. Of course, it will have the, the uh, enhancement of the border security. We've done already a lot. We have more customs agents. We have more border patrol. We have more physical impediments than any time in history. But using greater technology, focusing our resources in a better way is something that we'll achieve. Uh, looking at making sure employers don't hire individuals who are undocumented, thinking about future flows and how uh, we take care of the American economy by that, but also, cl very clearly, having a pathway to earned legalization is an essential element, and I think that we are largely moving in that direction as an agreement. What, what do you want? Uh, Senator McCain said it's helpful that President Obama is out on the road. What do you want to hear from him? How committed is he to getting this done. He also wants gun control. Well, I was at the White House on Friday with the Congressional Hispanic Caucus uh, leadership. Uh, and the president made it very clear uh, in that discussion that this was a top uh, legislative priority for him in this session uh, of the Congress. Uh, and that uh, he expects to uh, work uh, with all of us in an effort to achieve the goal, and he is fully committed to it. And I think that's why this uh, week he starts the clock uh, by the speech he's going to make uh, out in Las and Vegas. And that pathway to citizenship, does that have to be in there? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Latino voters in the country, first of all, Americans support it uh, in poll after poll. Secondly, Latino voters expect it. Uh, thirdly, Democrats want it. And fourth, Republicans need it. Shouldn't the president have invited some Republicans to that meeting in the White House? Well, it was the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. I, I know, so, but isn't uh, there a way to find some sure. Republicans he could invite in <laughs> the think, White House? I, I you know, know there's in there, fairness there to the Democrats. president, in his first term, he invited a very large cross section of Democrats and Republicans, and I think he understands the unique role that the Congressional Hispanic Caucus plays in the question of immigration uh, reform, uh, and that's why he wanted to hear from that leadership. Uh, but I'm sure that those bipartisan meetings will take place, and most importantly, uh, I am really uh, pleased by the nature of the bipartisan meetings that we are having with a group of six senators, three Democrats, three Republicans, and I understand a similar process is taking place in the House. That's real movement forward. If you think about it, Martha, at one time, pathway to earn legalization was off the table. We were talking about sending people back as touchbacks if they had any opportunity. That's not really being discussed. Uh, we're making a, a very significant progress. Let, let, let me move also on to Benghazi. Do you think this is over? John McCain clearly does not think this issue is put to bed? Well, look, I, I think that uh, I don't know how much more can be said about the realities of what happened in Benghazi. We have the Administrative Review Board. They made it very clear. Secretary Clinton then took, what were you took responsibility. To get from that well, uh, first of all, uh, Did my, you make mistakes? My, my Republican colleagues insisted on having that hearing before we could move on to Senator Kerry's nomination. Uh, and I thought it was important to hear from the secretary to close the chapter, uh, where, in fact, she is moving forward, as she said, on those 29 recommendations by the Administrative Review Board. How do we change the lines of authority within the State Department so that it's very clear who's responsible for embassy security? How do we change which, our... Which they said they've, they've implemented most Absolutely. of those. Absolutely, and, that, and that's very important so that, in fact, there are very clear lines of the vision. And also, I, I how, do, how, do, how do we make sure that, in fact, we look at intelligence in a different context, that there doesn't have to be a specific threat, but we look at the environment in any place in the world in which our foreign service is operating. I, I want to move on to Chuck Hagel as well and mm -hmm. his nomination. Would you support Chuck Hagel? Is he the right man to be defense secretary? I have a meeting with Senator Hagel this week. Uh, I look forward to asking him a series of questions uh, about... Uh, 
Israel, about Iran as the major uh, sponsor of the Iran sanctions in the, in the Senate. Uh, I am concerned about some of the comments he has made about sanctions in the past. I think it's our pe best peaceful diplomacy tool to try to get the Iranians to ensure that we have no nuclear weapons, which we cannot accept from Iran. And I support the president's view that it's not and about And do you contention. expect he will be uh, confirmed? Um, uh, we'll see. I, I think that there's been enough senators who have said they would support him. But uh, we'll see. Of course, there's the hearings. That always you know, gives us an insight. And I look forward to his uh, personal answers to a series of my questions. I, I, I want to go in the end here to something very quickly happening in your home state between Newark Mayor Cory Booker and 89-year-old Senator Frank Lautenberg, who basically suggested this week that Booker deserved a spanking because he was coveting his seat. Do you agree with that? Uh, Should Cory B Booker be making moves now? Uh, you know, that election is next year, and uh, all of the uh, back and forth now is something I'm, I'm really not focused on. Is Booker on. being disrespectful? Uh, you know, that's a, that's a question for Senator Lautenberg and, and uh, Mayor Booker. Because you're clearly not going to answer it. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> for joining you. Senator Menendez.